What's up, everyone? How's it going? Welcome back to Sweet Beat TV. It's your hosts, Alex and Taylor. Hello. And we have a super fun show for you today. It's going to be fun and super. A lot of I music. Promise. <laughs> yes. We have the amazing country duo, C4, on the show today that we hung out with back at CMA Fest because we yeah. just can't stop talking about CMA Fest. Nope. Until, <laughs> until we're there next year. That's so. right. <laughs> also, this year, the what? Arties, yes. a Radio Disney Music Celebration, which is the new name for Radio Disney Music Awards. Yes. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Say it again. One more time. Arties, yeah. which is the award they give. Right, they can hand out. A Radio Disney Music Celebration. So it was a different name, but same kind of show. Got and it. our girl Caitlin had a chance to catch up with some of the stars on the carpet, so we'll talk about that later in the show. But first up, of course, we have to talk about what's happening, Let's Taylor. Let's talk about it. So some exciting news, our girl Taylor Swift released a new music video she for did. her new song, You Need to Calm Down, and it premiered on Good Morning America yesterday. And this new pop anthem is all about equality and mm -hmm. understanding. It was a star set of music video. I mean, anyone who was everyone, we had the whole cast from Queer Eye. I just love seeing them really in any Obsessed. sort of video. Like yeah. she had, it was a great group of people. It was a great group of people. And of course there was a call to action at mm -hmm. the end of the music video where she says, let's show our pride by demanding that on a national level, our laws truly treat all our citizens equally. And please sign my petition for Senate support of the Equality Act on change.org. So Taylor Swift is putting a political vibe on this new album. Right. So it'll be interesting to see what the rest of her songs sound like. I right? forget exactly where it was that she did announce that this album would have some political undertones. And she kicked it off right away. I she mean, did. Lover isn't even out yet. And, you know, of course, we just saw this music video, You Need to Calm Down. And I like the way in which she's putting out the message though yeah it's so artistically done and you're watching this whole thing and it is it's a fun watch it's like you cannot hate for you know like any of this in this music video it's just so amazing to watch and like right. be a part of so colorful and of course you know she released it in pride month so right. It's that amazing. It's co-executive produced by Todger Call, who you know he loves color and just so I like, happiness. I like that he not only was in it, but was a producer on it as well. Because we've seen their friendship kind of grow throughout the years, but I like that now also they're mixing business with pleasure. You know what right. I mean? In a way which I think, honestly, you can't always do it, but this seems very seamless. Yes. So. Of course, this video features numerous celebrities. And one yeah. we have to mention at the Which end one? of the video, the beef that ended, Taylor. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, even like right before that, because I do want to get to that. But speaking of the stage with the other pop queens, yes. I found really interesting because not only is she done with the hate, she's done with hatred, it seems like, all together. Mm -hmm. Not only just, you know, in the LGBT community, but also in pitting females against one another. Let's talk about Katy Perry. Yes, exactly. Their beef is done with what Not everyone wants way. to share their beef. Oh. Wait, what? oh my God, I just put this together. Yeah. The beef. The beef is over. And she's, a, she's burger. a burger. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> Wait, really? Genius. <laughs> I definitely read that somewhere and put it on my card. So <laughs> no, I think that was like the perfect way. And Katy Perry just dressed as a hamburger earlier. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of funny to see her back in it again. It was a Met video Gala, At the right? Met Gala. Yeah. And I wonder if they had recorded or filmed this music video ahead of time or whatnot. I don't Interesting. know. Interesting. I'm not so sure. But I actually heard too, Taylor Swift on an interview that she called into Capitol uh, radio station and she had said that they had actually squashed this a while ago. It's just that they wanted to make, they didn't want to just make it public right away. Right. I think when you do that, people may think like you're just doing it for everyone else's, right. you know, benefit, will you say, or the headlines or whatever it may Definitely. be. She wanted to make sure it was squashed. So and she wanted assured. to do it in an artistic way as Taylor does everything. everything. Not just simple, you know, perfect. So Completely. we're happy the beef is over. We love the two pop stars. And, you know, we shouldn't put women against each other, as we know. So female empowerment exactly. to the finest. So congratulations to Taylor. It's Completely. an amazing video. Makes us all happy, and we love it, right? I know. And there's, like, a lot of her merch that she's kind of lined up. Not kind of as Easter eggs, I guess, and maybe it's kind of obvious, but one in which I just have to talk about is the cat watch yes. that was on there. That's her new cat. Yeah. That's Benjamin Button. And you'll notice on there the where it should be a number one, like where your clock would typically say one, it says 13. I mean, we all know that her number is 13, but you guys do the math there. I'm sure there's some weird equation, like uh, someone's theorem or something that that like actually means something deeper than which I can even know. Right. So, That's amazing. Anyways, really cool video. I think I'm going to have to watch it 
about 20 more times to pick up on Definitely. a lot of the other things. So. Well, speaking of some other music and music events, the Arties, yes. a Radio Disney celebration was this past Sunday, and our girl Caitlin Fashe had a chance to catch up with some of your favorite stars on the red carpet. But we have to talk about the show first because okay. there were some great performers. Well, there was, and the, the you know very beloved Sophia Carson hosted the entire thing, yes. in which she made her own performances, which you know is assumed to happen when you're you know not only just performing but also hosting the RDMAs. Can we talk about her covers really quick? Yes, Old Town Road. I've been waiting for females to to cover this song mm -hmm. because I felt like it was a missed opportunity by those ladies who weren't covering it because it's it's killing all the charts. So just by default, you're gonna climb up there too. You know what I mean? So it's kind of interesting too because at Stagecoach we had Diplo yes. doing it. Now we have Steve Aoki oh, backing true. Sophia Carson on this cover. So that's that was an true. interesting, was an interesting twist, twist, right? Yeah, twist. She also covered BTS's uh, Boy With Love. So girls, I wonder if she's gonna come out with a cover album. Some other great performers and new performers, mm -hmm. McDonnelly and I, Fetty Wap. And Fetty Wap. I'm loving the crossover of genres right now yeah. between artists. And it even just doesn't seem like, you know, you can take someone who's been on whatever, like Disney Channel, whatever or not, and I just feel like everyone is breaking through into their own right now. And Meg Donnelly is my girl. I love her. I know. And She's Fetty Wap. She's so sweet. So. And also Andy Grammer, who's just... The That's most charming great. and talented That's man in great. the world. Exactly. And lovely, the band. So some great performances. But of course, Caitlin had some of the performers do the famous tracing of the Disney Channel logo. Ah. So take a look at how they did it. Check it out. Welcome back to Sweet Bee TV. <laughs> I'm Caitlin Fashi, And today I am joining you from the Artie's Red Carpet. Hey, you look beautiful in pink tonight. So tonight we're celebrating music and there's obviously a lot of performers performing. Is there one that you're particularly excited to see? Oh my gosh, I am so excited to see Tori Kelly perform Part of Your World. It's like one of my all time favorite songs from my, like, and she's just like the best. 110% Avril Lavigne. I just really? binge listened to 10 of her songs in the car ride over here on full volume. Uh -huh. So I'm so ready. So this song um, we're doing with a kids choir. And it's really sweet. They are all so awesome and their voices are amazing and they look so sweet. It's going to be great. I've said this in like every interview, but Meg and Fetty Wap, I'm really excited to see. I think they're really cool. Can you give me any inside scoop on how you're going to be celebrating on stage? We just want everyone to dance and have a good time. And the Jonas Brothers are also going to be here tonight. Oh, really? Yeah. Great, that's fantastic. And they have a new song, Sucker. Yes. So if you would, will you play a quick game with me related to the song, and you tell me which one you're more a sucker for. Okay, you got it. Ice cream or cake? Cake. Cake. Ice cream. Sports or dancing? Dancing. Sports. Dancing. Pizza or wings? Pizza. Pizza, I'm a vegetarian. Texting or FaceTime? FaceTime. Texting. I like the FaceTime. That's People get like, like they don't like that. I if you just like bum rush someone on FaceTime, they're like, yeah. And lastly, Nick, Kevin, or Joe? Ooh, <laughs> don't even get me started on that. Um, Joe, back in the day, like Camp Rock days, Nick now. Joe. Joe! <laughs> that was fast. And we're in the middle of summer, so do you have a go-to summer jam? Maybe Earthquake by Tyler the Creator. The Jonas Brothers as of right now. Really? The Jonas Brothers, and I'm hoping that Haley Steinfeld comes out with new music. Meg Donnelly featuring Fetty Wap with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With you, baby. I think the Jonas Brothers. I, I would just listen to their songs nonstop. Can you show me your best dance move to your favorite Jonas Brothers song? host, what song would you play once an hour? It would be a Beyonce song, because who doesn't love a good Beyonce song? Love on top, baby, you the one that I love. No Scrubs by TLC. I would probably throw it back to Wide Open Spaces by the Dixie Chicks. Ah, oh, good one. Jonas Brothers. I think they win that one. Hi, I'm Navia Robinson. Hey, I'm Olivia Sanabia from Coop and Cami Ask the World. What's up, I'm Jason Maybaum. And you're watching Sweetie High. And you're watching Sweetie High. Thank you so much for watching. I had a blast here today. And if you guys want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to Sweetie High. That's so fun. Should we try it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it again. Okay.
Two, I don't know if that's it. <laughs> you went too fast. <laughs> Ding! Anyway, uh, we can have some work to do, but will, check out Andy Grammer's body rolls. Those were... Now that I can do, that, but I'm sitting in a chair, so <laughs> let's do it that way. That's amazing. Well, congratulations to all the nominees and winners. Yes. And of course, we love our Radio Disney fans. So we do, we great do. Great show. But some other music and mm -hmm. music bands we have to talk about. Yeah, let's just take it back to CMA Fest Yeah, we can. <laughs> so country duo Seaforth from Australia. So I have these amazing Australian accents. Uh, I had a chance to catch up with them at CMA Fest to talk about kind of the invasion of country music in Australia and where that okay. started. And they talk about Keith Urban and how he's a hometown hero right. and really kind of broke the mold for them to transition into country music. And they also released a music video on Friday Ooh, okay. for their new song, Love That. Hey. <laughs> and it's pretty good. It's colorful, just like Taylor Swift's music video. And uh, what, like a, you know, Taylor Swift started in country. She's coming out with her album, Lover, in August. Now this is Love That. This world is I'm all about love clues right now. <laughs> I like it. Connecting things that may not actually connect. One of the best parts about the music video is that they have goats in it. And did they do goat yoga? Yeah, they did not do goat yoga. Oh, I was they like, did not they did? No. No, no, no. But the duo named their band the Swamp Goats back when they were teens. So it was kind of a allude back to I that like time it. in their life. So that was pretty cute. Um, but anyway, take a look at what they had to say about CMA Fest and their upcoming summer plans right now. What's up everyone? Coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee at CMA Fest and right now I'm hanging out with country duo C4. Hello. Hey guys, Hi. how are we doing? Fantastic. Yes? Ne never better. Yeah. <laughs> never better. Unfortunately, one of us Actually, two of us are a little sick, but we're gonna make it through. The show must go on, yes. right? Yeah, Jay, we're feeling feeling good, regardless. Feeling good. We're here, regardless. Extremely exhausted, just to like level, level things out yeah. for you guys, just to make you feel better. I love that. If that one. works. All right, so let's start from the beginning, mm -hmm. because you guys have known each other since you were three years old, right? Yeah. yeah. So tell us kind of how you became C Fourth. Um, well, we've yeah, we've known each other our whole lives, and we've been friends, and. Uh, Hated each other at times, but no, no but um, we pretty much have uh, been making music together for it feels like a lifetime now. And uh, we realized once we started actually collaborating that it was better than what we were doing apart, you know. And country music has been a huge part of both of our lives, and uh, Nashville was always a goal for us. So we kind of just worked on writing the best songs we could and doing trips back and forth to Nashville, and here we are. Fell in love with it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we actually went to kindergarten at a, a place called Seaforth Kindergarten when we were three years old, which is where we got the name from as well. And it's also the suburb we grew up in together, so. Yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while. It'd be yeah, like, getting it'd be like, to be honest. Yeah, it'd be like being from LA and calling yourself Culver City or something. Like, <laughs> I'm Santa Monica, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that would be my name. Yeah. I'm, I actually, I'm from Calabasas originally, Calabasas. so I would be Calabasas. It's a little cooler, I think, sounding. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, so, and now, fast forward, you're tw one of 2019's ones to watch, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's so, crazy. how does it feel to be one to watch? What does that mean people, to you? People have been watching me. Yeah. It's weird. People one to, looking one to stare at is, yeah. uh, I think, what it's called. It, it's it's crazy. I mean, like, I never like to hear compliments. Yeah, it's yeah. weird. I think we're just kind of like someone uh, says, "Hey, you, you're doing so well. What do you think about this?" I'm like, "Oh, oh. That's, that's nice." <laughs> but uh, that's amazing to to be uh, yeah to hear that news. Yeah, um, yeah. It's, it's I'm cool. stoked and I'm glad that people think that. Um, I, I think don't really like talking about it too much. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> you can't I'm tell. so great. <laughs> I'm just no, yeah, no. It's just crazy. Every every little piece of this journey is like a, a step closer, like goals wise and everything. And like, go, we went to the CMT Awards last night. We're playing CMA Fest, and like two years ago, we would have given anything to be doing all of this. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So let's talk about the CMT Awards because this was your first red yeah. carpet ever. Yeah. yeah. So how did it go? Did you get your red carpet pose down? Can you show us some? It was pretty good. Um, I was actually it was a blue carpet officially, and yes. I was dressed in all blue, so I looked like the carpet. And if I laid down, people would have just walked. Over me, so that was cool. I blended in. That. Very camouflaged, yeah. But it was cool. I had a uh, also a lip twitch dur during the photos, trying to smile. My left, my right lip was just shaking the whole time. So I was standing there. I'm like, I look like I've got a few issues. Um, so I'm not. So you killed it. Photos. You it. killed it. Killed it in the most negative way. It can only it go. Great. It can only go upwards. No, it, no. It was really fun. It was really, really cool. And you know, to be invited and to go and do the whole thing was just yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. Now, why do you think country music has such an invasion in Australia? Mm. It's funny, well, I mean, we can owe a lot of it to Keith Urban. He's kind of like the hometown hero there, and he's a big deal, and has kind of helped open the doors to country music for not only us, but a lot of other Australian country artists and stuff. Yeah. Uh, people, I think, are just 
particularly right now, it's it's growing so much too, and people are learning about country music and everything, and becoming like more and more involved with it and fans of it and stuff. So it's, it's cool to see it happening. Yeah. And now with streaming services, it's becoming a lot more accessible to yeah. people in places that it's not getting played on the radio there. So this, we got people telling us now that we're the first country artist that they've listened to, and in Australia, and you can just yeah. see it branching out. Australia starting to play uh, artists like Sam Hahn, Thomas Rhett, and we got Morgan Evans playing on our commercial station. So yeah. it's a cool time to be alive, and we're just excited. To be alive. To be alive. We're just glad to be a part of that movement. Yeah, Yeah, no, that's amazing. And you've been doing a lot of touring. Mm -hmm. Kane Brown, Brett Young, Mitchell Tenpenny, super cool guys. Now, you guys are pretty funny. I've learned in this first five minutes of knowing you. So I know that there's been some pranks on tour for sure. We, have we pranked, do we, I'm sure some stuff went down with Mitchell. I've seen was, some pranks, I'm not sure if we can uh, talk about them <laughs> in particular. But we've only just really started the, the touring phase. We've kind of gone out in little doses. So the touring, most of it's been with just Tom and I in a car. So we try not to prank each other because we've got to spend a lot of time with each other. <laughs> you don't I want to prank it'd, each it'd other? Cause, it'd cause some issues. Yeah. I usually yeah. just kick him downstairs if I see him. <laughs> um, it's not really a prank, it's just assault, I think. <laughs> Mitch, yeah. Mitch likes to openly weep on stage. Often times oh, just, wow. that's a prank. just start crying. Is that just, a prank or is that you just get emotional? Yeah, I, just wanted to, I just wanted to put that info yeah, out yeah. there. It had nothing to do with this. Oh, it's okay to have a soft side. <laughs> you want to cry right now? Oh, now you just hurt his feelings. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, man. <laughs> Grow up. I'm all good. Okay, okay we're good. We're back. We're sorry, back. Right, okay. We're we're all right. Good. I love that. So let's talk about your music. Yeah. Speaking of love. Some singles. <laughs> love that. Yes. Right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So tell us kind of the inspiration behind that song and what it means to you. Yeah. Well, uh, we wrote it with two of our great friends in town, which is awesome. And it's become our first single and actually their first single to country radio. So it's more than just the song now. Like we get to enjoy this all together. But yeah. it was an incredibly fun writing session in the afternoon. We were all just jumping around. And I think the energy in the room reflects in the song. It's just yeah. a fun, lighter hearted song that I think kind of sets up our personality. And we thought yeah. it was just a great way to introduce ourselves into the market and give people a little insight as to what yeah. we're about. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. So we're here in Nashville. Yeah. So what thing do you love that? Like if I pointed out love something that. in Nashville, you love that. That brick wall. Love yeah. that. Nice, uh, nice rendering there. Uh, what iconic a- Nashville place do you um, love that? Or a, what about a Nashville trend? Yeah. Ranch. Yeah. Is something I love. <laughs> About Nashville has introduced me to ranch, and that's changed my life for the better. You never had ranch dressing? Never. never. Do they not have that in Australia? It's different. It's different. Yeah, it's, it's like a salad different. dressing almost. It's not yeah. like a thing. We yeah, could talk rich. about it for hours. <laughs> We're writing a book about it, actually. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Ranch. Okay. Yeah. Ranch dressing. Yeah. Ch- Ch- Love that. Chick Fil A changed my life as well. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a good nice. thing. I've been using that a bit. I've been Chick-fil-A. saying that to people. Yeah. yeah one nice. got put in. No, I just love the whole community here. And like Nashville's an amazing spot, and it's pretty. But I think the best best thing about it is the actual community and the amazing yeah. people and songwriters. It's a it's our new family because we've left home and left our family. It's good to now find this uh, a new one here, and we definitely feel welcomed and comfortable. So I just love how this town works and the music, uh, the music community, it's, it's phenomenal. I love that. So we're here right behind us is a stage that these guys are going to be performing on for CMA Fest, right? Oh, Chevy Breakout tomorrow. Stage yes. tomorrow. So tell us, what can fans expect? Tears, open weeping. No, um, Terrible no. performance. <laughs> no, we're, 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 super, we're super excited. Tears, yeah. vomit. Vomit, yeah. Vomiting, yeah. crying, Sickness. skipping, um, and staring at the floor. <laughs> No, this is our Sounds first. like a good time. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, you don't want to miss it. No, it's our first. It's going to be um, a full band show, and we're just super excited. We're playing the whole of that EP plus a few others, and uh, yeah, we're just pumped, man. It's always like any opportunity to play is amazing, let alone at CMA Fest here with like amazing other artists and stuff. So, yeah, we're going to do our best. Night storm, so hopefully it holds off, but it might I'm actually bringing, cool, it, cool it down a little I'm bit. bringing my poncho. Poncho, yeah. On stage. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. From Zara? Yeah, Zara Poncho, Zara poncho yeah. They yeah. just started it. $600. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's great. That's amazing. So summer's coming up. Anything we can look forward to? New music, touring, yeah. all that jazz? We have, um, we have a couple new music things on the way that we're working on right now that we're very excited about. Um, and they'll be coming out probably very soon, within the next couple months. And then uh, we're doing some touring, some festivals and stuff. We're playing Lake Shake in Chicago, Faster Horses. We're doing Dirk's Bentley's Festival in, Seven Peaks in, in Colorado. Colorado, which will be wow. awesome. Yeah. So exciting summer. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, We're, we're going to try and get on the support to tour later in fall, but we're just excited to keep playing shows for new faces and getting to see all the U.S. because we're foreigners and it's all new to us. So 100%. to play, wow. uh, play shows in cities with new crowds is a pretty special thing. Now, is there one thing you must see 
in the states, in any of the states. If we must? Yeah. And we're recommending? No, that you want to see, okay. that you coming from Australia need to see or have heard of. I want to uh, see Red Rocks. Yeah. yeah. So Rocks if we get a little chance in Colorado, I would love to see <laughs> just that. Just physical red, red Rocks. Yeah, just, just Rocks <laughs> that are red. That are red, yeah. The venue Red Rocks would be yeah. an amazing yeah. thing yeah. to see. Um, I don't know, man. It's 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 America's a beautiful place, and it's so diverse. Niagara so it's kind of cool. Yeah. Yes, that's, yes, that's on the list. That. Okay, I didn't want to say something silly. Yes, in this. You know, Niagara Falls. I think that's in Big, Canada. Big Ben. Big Ben is in America, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're getting some uh, geography information on this. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I can't wait to see Ed Edinburgh. <laughs> Edinburgh Castle. Those boys are hilarious. They really are. Yeah. I mean, and what a way to come up. I didn't know that that's why they named it Seaforth. Yeah. I had no idea. So what would your band name be, Taylor? Depends what hometown you want me to pick. If I picked right here, where we're sitting now, it'd be Marina Del Ra. Oh, we're the new duo, yeah, new yeah, country yeah. duo. Ma Ma Marina Del Ra. Marina Del Ra. Marina Del Ra, not to be confused with Ray. <laughs> Marina Del Ra, all right? Amazing. Well, congratulations to Seaforth yes. on their amazing music video and all the success they've had so far. But Taylor, that's all we have for today. I know, Alex. It really brings tears to my eyes. I know. But you know, they just put me in the summer mood. So even though it's 68 degrees right here, I feel like I'm just going to go get some very fresh cold air. <laughs> yes, let's do that. But until our next show, Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Make YouTube. sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let us know who are some of your favorite performers from the Arties. And, uh, yeah. and we'll you catch know, if you guys you're next time, country right? music fan, just drop a yee-haw. Okay? <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.